What's up guys? It feels good to be back to work doing the videos and such. Today we got the coverage of Apple's September 1st event which happened today. A little bit late on uh, doing the coverage video and stuff like that because I actually just paid for a car and had to get my license and insurance and all that crap and I was at the freaking DMV waiting for hours and hours while the Apple event was going on and I had no signal, I was going crazy. Anyways, we need to get on with this now because there's so much stuff to cover. A lot of stuff was announced at this uh, September event and it's amazing. Let's get started. So first off, there's three new Apple stores in Paris, London, and uh, Shanghai. Now the one in Shanghai looked amazing. Check out this picture of it. It's a 40 foot glass structure built out of one piece of glass. And then I guess it's underground because that's where the spiral staircase leads to. So of course, to start off the event, they come out with some stats. 120 million iOS devices have been sold to date. There are 200 apps downloaded from the App Store every second and there have been a total of 6.5 billion apps downloaded from the App Store. That is insane. So that was basically all the uh, stats they announced. And uh, next thing they announced was iOS 4.1. So let's go ahead and talk about what's new in the update. First off, it was mainly a lot of bug fixes. Uh, they've got <clears throat> some proximity sensor bug fixes, uh, Bluetooth bugs, 3G performance bugs. So let's go over some of the features that they announced in the iOS 4.1. Uh, they're adding HDR photos, which is high dynamic range photos. Uh, when you switch to the HDR, what it'll do is take three separate photos and then like combine them all into one. They also announced downloadable TV shows. Uh, and then the Game Center, uh, they added some updates to it. It's going to allow developers to have multiplayer in their games, uh, sort of like Xbox Live with the 360. You can get invites from friends. You can get automatically matched to other players that I guess are playing the similar games to you and uh, some of the other multiplayer features that you would normally expect. And iOS 4.1 will be available next week as a free download. Next, they announced iOS 4.2 for the iPad. iOS 4.0 will bring multitasking, HDR photos, Game Center, wireless printing, and AirPlay, which I'll talk about in just a second. So AirPlay is basically a way to stream photos and videos over the air, and I'll get into that more in a little bit. iOS 4.2 will be available for all devices this November, so a little wait, but it should be worth it. Now back to the stats. They've had 270 million iPods sold to date, and uh, now today, September 1st, they are announcing a whole new iPod lineup, and oh, this is amazing. First off is the new iPod Shuffle. They brought back the buttons. It's got a clip on it. You can add playlists. You can get Genius, and even voiceover. It's got 15 hours of audio playback and comes in five different colors. Black, blue, pink, green, and yellow. And it retails for only $49. Next up, they announced the new iPod Nano. This is a pretty big update to this device. The new iPod Nano has a multi-touch screen, so no more click wheel. It's 46% smaller and 42% lighter than the previous model, and actually it similar, looks similar to the size of the new iPod Shuffle. It's got volume buttons, voiceover, FM radio, Nike Plus, a ped pedometer, if I'm saying that right, works in 29 languages, has audio playback time lasting for 24 hours. Navigating the iPod works the same way as it does with the iPhone, iPod, or iPad, so it's going to be similar if you've got any of those devices and it's going to come naturally to you. You can orientate the screen to go with however you clip it on your clothes with the little clip on the back. And it comes in all the same colors that the iPod Shuffle comes in, plus it has graphite and code red. You can get the new iPod Nano 8GB for $149 and the 16GB for $149. 179. Next, they announced the iPod Touch. Amazing, amazing update. I'm just so excited. It's thinner than the previous model. It has a retina display. It's LED backlit with 326 PPI and four times the pixels. It runs a new Apple A4 chip and has a 3X gyroscope along with a back facing and front facing camera. The front facing camera you can even do FaceTime with. Of course, you are going to have to be over Wi Fi networks because iPod Touch does not have a data plan. So that's cool. FaceTime with iPod Touch. It's pretty amazing. There is no flash on the camera, but it does have a little mic beside the uh, back facing camera. It does record an HD video, and iMovie does work on the new iPod Touch, so you can edit videos and upload them directly from your device. The pricing hasn't changed really much. They've got an 8 gigabyte model for $229, a 16 gigabyte model for $300, and a 64 gigabyte model for $400. You can pre-order these now and they will be available next week. Next, iTunes 10 is available right now for download. If you'd like to download, I have a link in the description right down there. The main thing in iTunes 10 is they have a new logo. No, just kidding, that's not the main thing, but they do have a new logo. Looks pretty cool, check it out. They've had 450 million TV episode downloads, 100 million movies, 5 million book downloads, 
and they're about to cross the 12 billion song download mark. And they have 160 million iTunes accounts. But uh, they announced some new features. That the main feature, I'm, the only one I'm going to talk about, is Ping. It's basically Apple's new social network in iTunes. What it lets you do is follow your favorite artists, your friends. You can make groups. And basically, what it does, it's it, it's a new way to discover music. Like you can see what your what your friends are liking and favoriting and all that. Basically, a social network built in iTunes free to find music so it's pretty cool it sounds sounds like a good idea now ping isn't only available to the itunes app on your computer you can also get it on the iphone and ipod touch and finally the one more thing that apple announced today oh if the, as if there wasn't already enough the new apple tv the new apple tv is silent cool and fits in the palm of your hand it's got HD movies and TV shows, there's no syncing, no computer required, no storage required, and lower prices for content. Now everything on the new Apple TV is in HD and is only rentable. So you can't purchase anything on the Apple TV. iTunes is going to be running first run DVDs uh, for $4.99 the day they come out on DVD in HD. TV show rentals are only going to be $0.99. Cent. Uh, right now they only have ABC and Fox, but like they think, and I think this also, I think more companies are going to jump on board with this. And also has support for Netflix, YouTube, Flickr, photo streaming, and uh, video streaming from mobile me. As well as you can stream uh, videos and photos from your local computer just like you could on the previous model. What I was saying earlier about AirPlay, this is where this comes into play. You can stream content from your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad to your Apple TV. Amazing, right? I know. So everybody that complains, oh, I don't want to watch this on this little screen, guess what? Bring your Apple TV and your iPhone with you, plug it up to a TV, and you can watch it on the biggest screen possible. So when you purchase the new Apple TV, it comes with an aluminum remote. It's got the power supply built in. It's got HDMI cords as well as an Ethernet port. Yeah, it's amazing. The new Apple TV will be shipped later this month in about four weeks at an amazing, amazing price of only 99 bucks. So that was what they announced at the Apple event today. Amazing, I'm really excited to try out all these. I'm definitely, probably, hopefully going to be getting all these products that I just talked about and uh, doing some videos for you guys and getting some in-depth unboxings and reviews and such like that. So uh, hopefully you will stay tuned and go ahead and hit the little subscribe button up there if you'd like to see those videos. I'm gonna go because I've had a very, 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 very stressful day. It's not fun uh, buying a car even though it's supposed to be, it's, it's really not fun. I don't recommend it. If you enjoyed this, please click the little like button down there. I don't know which side it's on. And also check out the site, tiesiphonehelp.com. I'll have a link below in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.